C is for cows and sheep and goats. D is for digestive system. A cow's digestive system has evolved or changed over time. So E is for evolved. A cow's digestive system has evolved to have four parts or stomachs. They belong to a group of animals called ruminants. Ruminants aren't like us. They have more than one stomach. Can you count how many? That's right, they have four. The ruminant's first stomach, called the rumen, is its largest stomach. In a cow, it will hold 180 litres. This stomach has lots of microbes in, which digest the grass for the ruminant. F is for ferment. The microbeasts in the ruminant stomach sort of change or break down the grass so that the cows can digest it. So G is for grass and other plant materials. Ruminant helps by regurgitating and rechewing the grass it has already eaten once. This is called ruminating or chewing the cud. If you watch ruminants carefully, you can see them doing this. They will chew and chew without appearing to take anything into their mouth. They are rechewing their last meal. They often do this laid down. Once the microbes have digested the grass enough, then it continues on to the ruminants of the stomachs, where it and the microbes are digested by the cow's digestive system, just like in us. Not a very kind way to treat the microbeasts, which have digested the cow's dinner for them. Being able to eat and survive on grass makes sheep and cattle very important to farming and food production throughout the world. Grass is an amazing plant which can grow in many places which are not suitable for growing arable crops like this wheat, potatoes or these peas. This means we can still produce food from this land, which is often too steep, too wet or too stony to grow crops on. Grazing these areas has made them like they are and maintains them this way too.